Okay, so now is the time where I'm giving out the keys to the streets. I'm giving out cheat codes. I'm about to help everybody out. It ain't even fair for me to be giving out this kind of information for you guys for free. I'm just passing this out to you guys. This right here is my secret weapon. My greatest asset. When it comes to doing music video creation, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit a music video in as little as 15 minutes. 15! Now, just to clarify, I do not edit my music videos in 15 minutes, but sometimes I can have a bass edit done for a music video in only 15 minutes using this technique that I'm about to show you guys today. So I'm not even overhyping this. This changed my life. This saved me so much damn time. I've saved at least a thousand hours out of my life by being able to have a bass edit done for a music video in 15 minutes or less so let's go ahead and hop into it I'm gonna tell you guys what the secret sauce is for getting edits done in 15 minutes approximately so let's go ahead and jump into Premiere in Premiere we're gonna be using uh, their tool multi-cam so at this point right now I just have all the performance shots lined up on the timeline so we can just see all these different performance shots on the timeline I'll go ahead I'll add the b-roll in later so right now we just have our performance shots and I've got 13 performance shots right here so what I'm gonna do is once everything's lined up and lined up with the music I'm going to select all of these clips and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to nest and you can just name this whatever. I'll just name it Multicam Layers. Bam. Oh, I guess I missed the one. Let me go back, do that again. Make sure I get all these clips. So Nest, Bam. The name really don't even matter. I'm gonna go down to my nested layer and I'm gonna hit Multicam. And it just went black. <laughs> okay, let me come up here. So up here, where the screen's at, you're gonna go click on this little wrench for settings, and you're gonna turn it from composite video, skip over alpha, and select multicam. So now you can see all the performance shots at one time. So if I play through, let me select a clip. I got this black box selected, that's why it's showing nothing. But if I come over here and I just click right here and hit play. Then you can see the clips are all playing at the same time. And the way that I like to explain this is the way we're going to edit this is just think if you're watching like a live event, let's say that you're at a, just for example, in your head so you can picture it at a news station and you're sitting there behind the panels and you guys got six cameras. And if you guys are doing the show live, then you don't have time to, you know, stop and cut and stuff. You got to just cut the video live. So you're going to just switch from camera one to camera three to camera four to camera five to camera six. And from all this switching, you're going to get basically a live edit of the video. And that's basically what I do when I do this first edit. I can see all the clips at one time. I know what performance shot I want where. So I can just play through the, I can play through the video one time and just click along with the video and have it edit at the same time. It's going to be crazy. So let me go over here. We're going to drop the resolution down because full, it's hard for the computer to load this much information at one time. We're going to drop it down to one fourth. Or maybe even, you might go all the way down to one eighth. <laughs> Drop all the way down to one eighth. So let me come over here. I can still see my shots. And I'm gonna just hit play. One day I'll be up and it'll knock you down. That's the time you gotta get up with you. I wanna see on me like you. Are you single, single? I'm just trying to make Okay, so you're gonna just do that for the whole song. When you go back to your timeline over here, you'll see that 
it saved every single cut that I made while clicking on the video. So I'm going to go back up to my little tool, my little wrench, go back to composite video to switch it back to switch it back to the regular mode. And from here, you see that one day I'll be up and it'll knock you down. That's the time you got to get up with yo. Yo, I want to see all me like yo, I want to yo. Yo, dive into the bridge of the city. Are you single, single? I'm just trying to mingle. Got a baby in the house that I'm waiting up on you. So many in your city want to. So as you can see, it saved all of my cuts on the video. And the absolute best thing about this is a total godsend. Is that I can just double click. If I go to any one of these clips, like this shot right here is just trash. You can't even see nothing. If I just double click, it'll pull up all the clips. So I can just click and switch it out. Oh. I'm saved from so much work. But yeah, as you can see, you can just go through the whole video. Sometimes I'll just click along with the music to get the cuts. And then with the multi-cam, with the multi-cam, I can come over here and just double click. And voila, I can change it to whatever. If my clients have any complaints, they're like, I don't like that shot at 45 seconds. My mouth was wide open and my teeth look yellow. Then I can go back in here and I can double click and switch it out. Or I'll be shooting for girls. They'll be like, I don't like that shot at a minute and 15 seconds. You can see my stomach sticking out of my shirt. Then look, I can hop on here. I can change the shot within seconds. Within seconds. So yeah, basically I've used this technique to edit a music video and bait and like I've edited music videos in like eight minutes or like 12 minutes or 15 minutes I just hop in I line up all the performance shots with the audio I nest it I multi-cam it I play through the video one time then I go back through I just double click switch out all the performance shots that I don't like then I get my b-roll and I put my b-roll on top of the video then I might finish it out with some transitions but using this technique right here this here technique will save you so much time it's, it's like cheat codes for video editing like it's blowing my mind that more people I don't know anybody else that uses multi-cam to edit music videos with like like just please please just do it just do it just do it like Nike, I need to get endorsed. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. You know, I thought I, these these pants are Nike, but they're like Jordan. But No, nah, these, these, these are Jordan pants. But <laughs> like I was saying, this right here will save you so much time. So that was my video explanation of how to do the 15 minute edit. I hope that it helps save you guys so much time, energy, effort, stress, and anxiety attacks from having to, you know, edit the other way. So there's my cheat code on how to edit a music video in 15 minutes. Ciao.